Booyakasha Toy Fans, I'm D21Beast and welcome back to my figure review series here on my YouTube channel. And today we're once again looking at those Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures by Playmates. Today we've got Stockman Fly, one of the new villain characters featured in Season 3 of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon series. Now if you're a fan of the Ninja Turtles going way back, you probably remember this guy from the 80s cartoon. And of course Baxter Stockman did show up again in the 2003 show, but not in fly form. But here we have the second version of Baxter Stockman, both in figure form and as shown on the television series. And I was really excited to see this figure announced. I enjoy this version of the character, as grotesque as he may seem. I couldn't wait to get him in my collection, and now I've got him. So let's get things started by taking a look at the packaging for this figure. As you come down the front of this box, you do have the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo there towards the top. You've got a show rendered version of all four turtles in the upper right. You then have a blister bubble packaging that does house this Stockman Fly figure inside, as well as his accessory. And then you have the name for the figure there at the bottom, Stockman Fly, Turtle Fly's ultimate superhero enemy. And flipping this package around, you once again have that Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo there at the top. You then have a bio for Stockman Fly off to the right. Go ahead and pause now to read that. And as you come to the bottom of the packaging, you see a complete lineup of all the other figures currently available in this wave. Alright guys, that's the packaging. Let's see if we get Stockman Fly out of the box and see what he's all about. Alright toy fans, here we have Stockman Fly out of the box, and this figure looks really, really great. Now I do wish he had a little bit more paint work than he actually has, but what we've got is really, really nice, and the sculpting is phenomenal on this figure. As I pull him in close, let's take a look at that head sculpt. Check out the antenna coming off the front of the face. You've got the mandibles here and the sort of split mouth, and even the area where the nasal cavity would be. you got the hair sculpt here that's been painted very nicely, and it's all nice and bumpy. The entire figurehead is actually textured just wonderfully, and I really like the way the compound eyes look on this fly. Uh, they've painted sort of this metallic green paint on top of a separate green plastic piece that's been glued onto the figure's head. You've got sort of like eyelashes here, and then that same eyepiece actually is what these antenna are attached to. But overall, I think it just makes one really monstrous, gross, awesome looking head sculpt. That's probably my favorite part of this figure. As you come down the figure's body, you're going to see here that he does have sort of this magenta colored top. Uh, there's no paint detail on the actual torso of the figure. You'll see that there's all these spikes kind of poking out of the figure, and they haven't been painted at all. This arm here is actually a brown plastic piece that's been painted on the upper arm. We have the same sort of detail here on the other side. Again, another uh, brown plastic piece that's been painted on the upper arm. And then coming down, we've got these jeans here that are sculpted, again, very nicely with all these little spikes coming out. Wish there was some paint detail. And then we have these shoes at the bottom. They're actually a separate color brown from the actual figure's uh, skin. So they did actually give us a little bit of paint detail there. Otherwise, though, the paint's pretty flat all around. Coming up the back here, you're going to see that it has these sculpted wings that are actually articulated. They're actually sculpted very nicely as well, too. They definitely look like fly wings. And overall, just the look of this figure, I think, is absolutely fantastic. Again, I wish the paint was a little bit more detailed, but based on what we get from Playmates a lot these days, this figure is actually pretty nice. Baxter comes with the one accessory that you see here. He has this chocolate bar. It's sculpted out of the same colored plastic that his head and his arms are sculpted out of, and it's got a lot of nice detail here on the actual chocolate bar, but there's no actual paint detail on here. Now, the chocolate bar is designed to kind of fit into his left hand here. Now, his left hand doesn't have a very strong grip, but if you position the chocolate bar just right, he can actually hold it, and it looks like, you know, you could actually make him eat it if you want to, or you can just wave in front of his enemies, whatever you want to do with a chocolate bar, or just have him holding it while he's, you know, standing in an action pose. And that's basically it for the accessories. So let's go ahead and move on to articulation. I love the head sculpt on this figure and the way that it's on a ball joint. It rotates all the way around very nicely. And then it actually looks down about that far and looks back that far and rotates all the way around. He's got a shoulder joint that does bend up that far and rotate all the way around as well as bending out from the body that far. There is no articulation in the rest of the arm. A bit of a bummer, but also expected with uh, Playmates toys these days when you're not a Ninja Turtle. His uh, articulation is copied here on the other side. And then he has a waist swivel, which spins around a full 360 degrees. And then his legs will actually move forward that far, move back that far, and then they just kind of rotate at the hip joint for all the movement you can get out of that. No knee articulation, no ankle articulation. Again, pretty standard with the non-turtle figures from Playmates in the Ninja Turtle line. Finally, he's got these articulated wings. You'll see here that they have hinges so they can move up and down like this. They also spin all the way around. So you can actually get him some pretty nice sort of flight po or poses or nice wing poses. The only thing I wish these wings did that they don't do is you cannot fold them flat and have them behind the figure just like this. The hinge is not designed to allow you to do that. So that's probably my biggest uh, complaint, I guess, about the articulation on this figure is that I just wish the wings could actually uh, kind of be flat behind the figure, like angel wings or like butterfly wings. But uh, what we have right here is actually pretty nice. And you can get some, a lot of great sort of fly-like poses or just really creepy poses with this Baxter Stockman figure. So I'm a big fan of the articulation overall. Height-wise, we can see that Stockman fly does stand just about at five and a half inches tall, if we count the hair and the antenna. 
Now I don't have the human Baxter Stockman figure that was released in this line already. I really wasn't that impressed with it. But here we have Baxter Stockman compared to his evil partners, Bebop and Rocksteady. Here he is compared to his evil Master Shredder and his fellow crony Tiger Claw. And of course here he is compared to Mikey Turflidle. Buzz, buzz, evil dude. And finally, here he is compared to the 6-inch scale Marvel Legends Infinite Series Wolverine. Alright Toy Fans, well that's my review of the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Baxter Stockman Fly figure, released by Playmates in 2015. Overall, this is an absolutely fantastic figure. This is definitely one of the better villain characters to come out from the Playmates line in a while, and it definitely deserves a spot in your collection. The sculpting is really fantastic, the paint works nice for what you get, I do wish there was more, and I do wish those wings articulated just a little bit differently than they do, but this figure's really a lot of fun, and he's an awesome throwback to the original 80s cartoon. Definitely check him out. Well thanks for watching this review guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you saw here, please feel free to rate, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Zzzz. <laughs>